Shalom, shalom, shalom to the hopefully elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Bashai, Bahashem Rekak Badash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. All right, coming in with another lesson today. All right, this lesson uh, is going to be going into, uh, you know, some news and prophecy. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, the Western civilization that you see it right now is quickly, quickly diminishing. All right, especially here in the States, here in the United States of America. Many of these different big tech companies, big financial institutions, okay, uh, these different media sectors, all these things, okay, that we see, you know, in the news, dealing with, you know, how the economy is running, it shows you that the economy is bad because these big, at one time, these big companies are now diminishing, okay, they're diminishing, okay, their employees, and not only uh, just this, um, uh, uh, these different sectors, you have even more. The supply, the food chain, all right? Many, many different things, many different jobs, all right, are closing and they're laying people off by the thousands, okay? And uh, I just want to go ahead and get in a couple of these because I just did, I did a lesson on this maybe about a year ago. I know sometime in 2023, you can look into it. News and prophecy. And I think I titled it News and Prophecy going into the different layoffs. And it was going to Disney. It was going to many different, different uh, uh, jobs. And we're starting to see the effect of it uh, uh, become even quicker, quicker. All right. The, the catalyst. All right. And not only do you see these things happening, you got a lot of people defaulting on loans, on car loans. Uh, different mortgages people can't pay their rent so this big snowfall snowball effect that's happening right now is getting bigger and bigger and bigger okay and this is what Esau even wants he wants to bring the chaos because when people start losing their jobs start losing their money start losing different things they're gonna have an uproar against the uh, uh, the government as well and that's in the scriptures as well Okay, but let me go ahead and get into a couple of these different uh, articles. This is three hours ago. Video game industry layoffs are a collision of trends. Okay, you have... Uh, here it is. 14 hours ago, NPR. Sony is laying off about 900 PlayStation employees. You have another one, Fast Company. What driving the flood of layoffs in the video game industry? Because when you look at the prices that's on them a lot of people are not and you know you got you got a lot of brothers they, they still you know get the games and stuff but it's not to the point of how the people are in the world these people are buying up games all right but it's getting to the point to where you have the ai taking over creating these different games so what's the point of having all these different employees you see people don't understand the different uh well, the different dynamics when it came with this AI, when it started to come on mainstream, many people are about to start losing their jobs. All right. Because of this AI technology, what's the point of having a whole bunch of different media production programs? And you can just get someone that's on a computer right now to type something in and chat GBT to bring it over into a different AI. Um, I guess what an AI creator uh, content website and you can upload everything on it and the AI will generate the whole video and everything for you. That's just on a lower level. How much more can it do? So what's the point of having different uh, media casts and, and things like that? It, it start knocking them off. Why you got to have editors and things in that nature? Video editors. Just get the AI to do it. And it does it in a quicker and a much more efficient time as well. And it, it probably comes out just as good as the person that's doing it who went to school years and years or even have a different uh, experience as such. 
but showing you that we're getting closer and closer to the downfall of the Western civilization, okay? Because they're getting ready to bring this whole current system down to bring up something new. But going back into it, it says, an upset isomaniac says PlayStation layouts are unprecedented. Okay, let me go. It says, six games that will never see the light of day thanks to the mass tech layoffs. And a lot of tech jobs are being, uh, having the people being laid off right now. Here it is, a complete list of all the known layoffs in tech from big tech to startups broken down by months throughout 2023 and 24. Let me see if they have it up. Here it is. Woo! Woo! Okay, let's see what this is. All right, it says the final total of layoffs for 2023 ended up being 262 thousand seven hundred and thirty five according to layoffs fyi tech layoffs conducted in 2023 were 59 percent higher than 2022's total so showing that it's growing and 2024 is off to a rough start despite not reaching the peak of last year's first quarter cutbacks so 20 january 2023 tech layoffs this is 2023 89,554 employees laid off. And then you got the whole list. February, March, April. And these are in the thousands. Leading up all the way down to what? January 2024. Last month. Well, last two months. 19,350 employees laid off. And these are just tech jobs. I heard about EA. They're cutting 5% of its workforce impacting 670 employees you have fisker plans to lay off 15 percent of his workforce and says it's likely does not have enough cash on hand to survive the next 12 months so that shit is out the window man you got bumble is letting go of about 350 employees accounting for 30 percent of his workforce apple sony expedia finder rivian meaty foods Cisco, Toast, Inst Instacart, Mozilla, Grammarly, Get Around, Amazon. I said that in my video before. Amazon, DocuSign, Snap, uh, Polygon Labs, Okta, and this is what in um, twenty. Oh, in February last month. Ooh. All right. So let's jump to January twenty twenty four. You see, while well, y'all worrying about the Super Bowl, y'all worrying about all these other different things, jobs are being, uh, people are being laid off by the jobs by the thousands, okay? And this is just, it, it, you know, the hundreds, okay? What, 95 workers in New York City, January, at uh, Thinks, you have Proofpoint, you have Wetpad. So all these different um, companies, when you add them up, is it, 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 man, come on, man. It's going. It's getting ready to be what? About what? More than a thousand people. Here it is. Just Aurora Solar. It says has laid off twenty percent of its staff of of about a thousand people. You got Flexport, Microsoft, laying off nineteen hundred employees across its gaming divisions. You see, the tech world is going down. eBay, TikTok, Venroom, of Room, Riot Games, YouTube. Hey man, see all the people that's making their money and things online, showing you, all right, that hey, getting closer and closer to the end. Layoff tracker. Oh, I was looking at that early in Business Insider. So you got Best Buy warns of layoffs as it issues soft full year guidance. This is two days ago. EA, I just read that. Bumble, Sony. Amid mass layoffs, it's best to take new approach to job searches. You see, it's getting ready to be to a point to where a lot of people are going to be without jobs. It says 42,000 tech layoffs in 2024 already. And it's just the tech world. We didn't get to the financial institutions uh, uh, sectors. All right, the media sectors. And this is just, that's just, uh, uh, just some of it. You still got the food chains. 
All right, different restaurants, airlines. So this is just the beginning of sorrows, you know, as the scriptures talk about. Let's get that in um Second Ezra sixteen. Oh, I mean nine. So Second Ezra sixteen. Uh, I believe it's at twenty. Is it sixteen? Yeah, here it is. This is the book of Second Ezra sixteen and verse thirty seven. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains compass her womb. Which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. It's coming quickly. The Western civilization, as you know it right now, is, is quickly diminishing right now. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. All right. It says, and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. The economy, the collapse. People barely uh, having enough money uh, to buy food. Okay. Prices rising. Job layoffs. What's that in um, Ecle Ecclesiastes? Mm, I think it's 12. Yep. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 3. And the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease. Yeah. And the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. All the hope that America once had. Hey, man, that shit is gone. You know, the people who study the economy. All right. Who's watching over all of this. They, 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 they look they looking at this and like, man, what the hell? This is it. OK, everybody who think that they uh, uh, have some might in this society because of their money. Guess what? They're getting ready to bow themselves. They're getting ready to be at the same level as the rest of the other people. It says, verse 4, And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. No work. No work. What's the point in opening up the door and going out? Oh, all right, I'll see you later, honey. I'm getting ready to go to work. Nah, man. That shit, hey, the doors... Of, of these different facilities, these places, these uh, different jobs. It's getting ready to close, man. This is a part of the plagues uh, of a plague that the Lord is getting ready to bring upon the earth. All right. And especially here in the, in the Western civilization here in the U.S. It says, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. All your entertainment as well. That shit's going to be dead. That shit's getting ready to be gone. You see? We come into some serious, serious times. And this is just some of it. I was going into, uh, what, Reddit in my other video. I remember, I think it was Cisco as well. You know, it's, it's so many different jobs. And the people don't even see it because they're looking at the things in society of how things are still running. You know, everything looked like it's still going good. But what's going on what, behind the doors of these big companies? Are they really, truly surviving? Like, you know, like they're supposed to. OK, many of them are making job cuts. They're cutting down on hours. Come on, man. You know, Jake, especially open up your eyes, man, because we're coming to the time to where. You may be without a job, you know, but when it comes to the hopeful elect, man, hey, they are going to be kept. They are going to be kept safe. They're going to be watched over. All right. By your how about Shimmy Shai. OK, I just want to bring this little quick news and prophecy going into, you know, the layoffs. All right. Because we're looking all right, at major, major layoffs coming this year. You know, you got Google, Discord, City, a lot of these different gaming companies. Amazon on Twitch also announced job cuts. So this is just a start, man. And it's only going to escalate more and more. All right. So, hey, 
Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwathim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully let. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. Shalom.